Um, as one of my family have, has been ill with Lyme disease for nearly six years now, I feel absolutely passionately that anybody out in the countryside, in whatever, whether they're walkers or whether they walk in the countryside or whether they're campers or whoever's out in the countryside, really needs to know what a tick looks like, how to take it out properly, how to use an antiseptic wipe on the bite site, and, and to know what kind of implement to use to take it out efficiently. Now this is, this is what I call an old-fashioned tweezers. It's, got, it's blunt ended and I don't think they're at all good for taking out ticks because you end up squeezing the tick and then you can, it, it might disgorge its stomach contents into you. So that's not a good idea at all. Away with them. These are fine nosed tweezers from a local supermarket which cost a couple of quid, which are pretty good. Um, but even for the very, very tiny ticks, the nymphs, they're not really fine enough. And this is a, a rather superior Rolls-Royce ticks, which are incredibly fine. And these are very, very useful for taking out the tiny, tiny ticks that you hardly know are there. So uh, I really recommend these. These cost about 12 quid, but worth it. And these are what are called twisters, which the Lime Charity, Barda, sell for about a fiver. Um, I find, personally, I find these difficult to use because you have to twist them, but uh, other people find them very useful, so um, it's, it's your choice. And it's useful to have antiseptic wipes to wipe the um, bite after you've removed the tick. And I've always found that it's useful to have a really, really good small magnifying glass because some of these nymphs are really very, very tiny. And, um, you know, it, it's useful to be able to have a better look at them. So I call this a survival kit, the tick survival kit.